Exclusive Contracted Novel by Felu Novel Network Pirates Salted Fish King Luo Xiu was sunbathing on the balcony of his dormitory when he woke up and traveled to the world of pirates, becoming the king of a new world country. Ding, the Xianyu King system has been successfully bound. Obtain the supreme salted fish body. Just bask in the sun and your body can become salty. Ah. Uh. No. Strong. Obtain the supreme salty fish eye. As long as you see the ability, you can replicate it and reach the full level in one second. Obtain the supreme salted fish hand. As long as you touch something, you can replicate it and double your strength. Obtain the supreme salted fish feet. As long as you want to leave, no one can catch up and move instantly. It is impossible to cultivate in this lifetime. Is it domineering and domineering? Armed and domineering? Have you ever seen someone reach the top level in one second? Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Salted Fish King System, Seeking Flowers and Collecting You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ah! If only I could become a king! So that I can be a happy little salted fish every day, and no one dares to say what I do. Who dares to beep and just chop him down? A certain university. A certain dormitory. A certain salted fish lay on a lounge chair on the balcony, feeling soft and boneless, enjoying the warmth of the sun. Dreaming of my own salty fish. Bombardment a faint explosion could be heard in my ear. Your Highness. Your Highness is not doing well. The Hundred Beasts pirates are here. In a daze, Luo Xiu heard an anxious and fearful shout. Open your sleepy eyes. A delicate pretty face with an anxious expression caught Luo Xiu's eye. Who are you? Luo Xiu asked impatiently. She was not at all polite because she was a beautiful woman. How is the beauty? Beautiful women can confidently disturb people's clear dreams. Your Majesty, I am Irene, responsible for your daily life. The pretty palace maid looked at Luo Xiu with a worried expression on her face, thinking to herself that the king wouldn't have been scared out of her wits, would she? What? King! Lin Yu suddenly sat up and looked around in shock. The decoration inside the house was so dazzling that his 24K titanium alloy eyes were blinded. It was high.end, grand, and upscale, just like a king's palace. Where is he meowing? Am I sleeping in the dormitory and sunbathing? At this moment, Luo Xiu's heart was confused. How did you get to such a cool place to bask in the sun? Are you not even safe to sunbathe these days? Ah. Uh. Ah. Suddenly, a severe headache came from the head, and a strange memory came to mind. The kingdom of Fiori, Fiori Roxiu, the killing of the old king, the succession of the new king, the pirates of the beasts, and the beautiful little maid in front of them all appeared one by one. I really crossed over and became a king. But it's completely different from the king I imagined. A group of beasts and pirates. Mom. The rhythm of him meowing as soon as he crosses over is about to be destroyed by others. Really. It's a bullshit. Although the current beast pirates are not yet the famous four emperors pirates in the future, they are also one of the top pirate groups in the new world. Because the surrounding waters of the country are rich in sea floor stones, the country is relatively prosperous. But. A tall tree catches the wind. Who wouldn't be jealous of such a big cake? Surrounding countries occasionally experience friction with their countries, with a small attack every three days and a big attack every five days. Not only the country, but even the pirates are envious. Well, Jack, the mammoth under the New World Pirates, has set his sights on this place. Luo Xiu, who has seen the pirate, knows that Jack is completely insane. Being targeted by him. Melancholy. Through memories in his mind, 
Luo Xiao learned that his country was an ordinary kingdom in the New World. How can one withstand the attack of such a vicious pirate group? This kind of king is not the king I want. What I want is to be the king of salted fish. Ding! Feel the host's strong dream of salted fish, and the salted fish king system comes to bind. Salted fish king system. Sleeping trough. Is there another system like this? System, what's your use? After waiting for a long time, the system didn't respond much, and Luo Xiu thought he had hallucinations. But. This is his hope for survival. Without giving up, he called out a few more times. System. Are you here or not? Did it crash? System. Are you still alive? Mad, this product won't be a counterfeit or inferior product, will it? Luo Xiu secretly slandered his stomach in his heart. Finally, after a while, a lazy voice rang out in Luo Xiu's mind. Look for yourself. I Nima. After waiting for a long time, you told me this. Luo Xiu suddenly had an impulse to pull him out of his mind and give him a hammer. Is this lazy personality truly worthy of feeding the salted fish king system? Sure enough, it's salty enough. Luo Xiu found the system introduction and clicked on it. Salted fish king system. Host. Fiori Rosho identity. King of the kingdom of Fiori age. 18 ability. None item. None salted fish value. Zero system introduction. As long as the host has salted fish, they can obtain salted fish value. The salted fish value can be exchanged for goods and props in the mall, and can also be used to summon characters to protect the country, allowing the host to make a happy little salted fish without worry. In order to ensure that the host has enough time to salty the fish, this system specifically endows the host with the supreme salty fish body. As long as it is exposed to the sun, it can become salty, no. Become stronger. Supreme salted fish eye. As long as it is the ability seen by the host, it can be replicated and level up in one second. After a brief introduction of the system, Luo Xiu was pleasantly surprised and couldn't do it himself. Bull Batch Bull Batch The Salted Fish King system is indeed salty enough. I like it. Your Majesty, what's wrong with you? The pretty little maid next to Luo Xiu was shocked, sad, and delighted, just like a fool. The big eyes of the little maid Shue Lingling were filled with worry. Your Majesty, will your mind not be frightened out of fear? It's okay, it's okay. How is the situation outside? Luo Xiu asked calmly, pretending to be calm. Being a king for the first time still feels a bit uncomfortable. The king's army is still resisting desperately, but it won't be long. Please prepare early, Your Majesty. The pretty little maid politely offered her suggestion to Luo Xiu. The meaning is that. The king's army is almost exhausted. Your majesty, hurry up and run away. Luo Xiu naturally understood the meaning of the little maid. If Ji Qiang had not had the salted fish king system, he would have run away long ago. But. Now. You're still hanging here. The pirate is the one who should run away. Let's go. Follow me out and see how impressive these pirates are. Luo Xiu yawned and lifted the blanket to prepare to come down. The pretty little maid immediately came over to serve Luo Xiu in dressing. The white and tender hands touched Lin Yu's body, giving him a very comfortable feeling. Being a king is great. You don't have to do anything yourself. After getting dressed, Luo Xiu lifted his leg and walked out. The pretty little maid, although somewhat afraid, dared not disobey Luo Xiu's orders. Can only follow closely behind. After leaving the palace, the sound of gunfire and shouts of killing filled Luo Xiu's entire eardrums. Standing on the high platform of the palace, Luo Xiu could clearly see the members of the king's army and the beast pirates fighting against each other on the street. Is the discovery of armed color dominance replicated? 
is the morphological ability of male lions replicated in the discovery of animal species cat fruits. Did those who discovered the fruit ability of wild boars in animal lineages replicate it? Did those who discovered the ability of antelope fruits in animal lineages replicate it? Does the ability to discover gravitational fruits replicate? Does the ability to discover repulsive fruits replicate? A series of prompts appeared in Luo Xiu's mind, all of which were the abilities he saw. System, are there any conditions for this replication? Copying one ability each time costs 100 salted fish points. Lin Yu was completely upset when he heard the system's answer. Just recently bound the system, there is a value for hanging hairy salted fish. Damn it. You're playing with me in the system. Host, are you in a hurry? Do the new salted fish have three free replication opportunities? Really? Oh, oh. Sorry. Sorry. My pot. Luo Xiu apologized repeatedly, but just now he was a bit anxious. All right, I've said everything I need to say. Whether or not you can become the king of salted fish depends on your abilities. This system should go to sleep for now. Don't come to me if you have nothing to do, let alone if you have something to do. Holy crap this system is really not ordinary. Chapter 2 Shen Luo Tianjing, Wanxiang Tianin, Seeking Flowers. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Three free opportunities are quite humane. Luo Xiu carefully screened it. Well, the dominance of armed colors must be replicated. It's embarrassing to say that one is a person from the New World and doesn't know how to be armed or domineering in the New World. What are the remaining two choices? What is the morphology of wild boars in animal series? Pass. Animal type cat fruit, male lion form. Pass. Animal type antelope fruit ability. Pass. It truly deserves to be a group of beasts and pirates. There are really so many animal fruit experts. Wait, it seems like you've discovered some amazing ability. Gravity fruit ability. Repulsive fruit ability. It's a bit interesting. This reminded him of the Shenluo Tianjing and Wanxiang Tianyin of the Heavenly Dao pain in the Hokage. Don't be too competitive. If a Shenluo Tianjing goes down, the village of Kanoha ninjas will be GG. I've decided it's you guys. Activate the Supreme Salty Fish Eye. Armed color dominance successfully replicated. One second. Full level. Gravity ability copied successfully. One second. Full level. Reputation ability copied successfully. One second. Full level. It took a total of six seconds, three seconds to copy, and three seconds to reach full level. Feeling the powerful power within the body. Luo Xiu felt incredibly excited. What a powerful kick. Wow, Kaka. Finally, I have the strength to make salted fish. It's not an easy thing to have a salty fish these days. If you don't have the strength, you might end up burping your butt that day. Still salted fish. Maybe it will turn into a dead fish on that day. Your Majesty, it's dangerous here. Please take refuge in the palace. I will definitely swear to defend Wang Cheng to the death. A soldier leader saw Luo Xiu walking out and hurriedly came to guard him, urging him to take refuge. The old king also managed well, and this is the only kingdom in the new world without nobles. Due to the presence of high Lu Shi mineral resources, the country is relatively prosperous. Therefore, the taxes of the people are also relatively low, and the king is deeply loved by the people and the army. After the death of the old king in battle, the king's army retreated step by step, but there was not a single deserter. He knew this person and learned from his memory that he was the son of the previous palace guard, Shosi. Animal type cats with fruit and male lion morphological ability. His father and Luo Xiu, the chief father of this world, died in battle together. His mission is to safeguard the safety of the palace and the king. 
Taking refuge. He he. I really don't know who to take refuge with. My country is being plundered by pirates, and my people are being slaughtered by pirates. As a king, how can I stand idly by? I will also fight for this country and its people until the very last moment, just like you. Although Luo Xiu became a king for the first time and had little experience. But beautiful words are still spoken. Regardless of the world, people's hearts are the most important. The stability of the people and the stability of the country. Then he can be a carefree and happy little salted fish. Sure enough. Upon hearing this, Xiuxi. Immediately moved, tears flowed down my face. I will definitely fight for His Majesty the King until the very last moment. Xiu Si held a knight's sword and shouted out this sentence with his loudest voice to express his determination. Hmm work hard. Luo Xiu patted his shoulder to encourage him, and then flew away under Xiu Si's staring expression. For Luo Xiu, who has reached the full level of gravity and repulsion. Flying is not too easy. The miscellaneous members of the Beast Pirate Squad, give you three seconds to lay down your weapons and surrender, otherwise I will make you feel what pain is. Sound like a thunderous bell. Spread throughout the entire corner. At this moment. Whether it was the pirates, the king's army, or the people, they all looked up at Luo Xiao in the sky, who was like a deity. Look. It's your majesty the king. Is the king a god? He can fly. Your Majesty the King has come to save us. Long live the King. Long live. In this country, the King is faith. Luo Shui appears. And it still appears in such a trendy way. The military and national momentum of the Kingdom of Fiori instantly reached its peak. What's going on? It's just a stinky little ghost with not yet fully grown hair. It's just a lucky and delicious demon fruit that can fly. Brothers. Where are your Italian cannons? Take it out, damn it. These are all great pirates from the New World, so naturally they won't be scared by Luo Xiu. One by one clamoring to take him down. A ferocious man with a scarred face on the ground waved his machete and shouted at Luo Xiu in the air, put on Nima's snake skin. I've already killed your old man just because you have an egg. Brothers, bomb him for me. Scarface gave a fierce smile and ordered to the little brothers behind him. Yes, Captain. The horse under his command immediately took action upon receiving the order. Load the ammunition. Adjust the muzzle. Bang 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 countless shells flew towards Luo Xiao from below. There are at least hundreds of them densely packed. Ha 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 let you pretend to be a little more. So many shells. I'll see how you die. The captain of Scarface looked at him with a cruel smile. Looking at the sky full of shells, Luo Xiu's heart remained calm and even felt a bit sleepy. If it had been before, he might have really been scared to pee by this situation. But. This is not what it used to be. Raise your arms. Reputation. Activate. Bounce. The shell that was originally flying towards Luo Xiao returned at a speed of more than ten times the original speed. The repulsive control ability at full level is limited to a few shells, and it's just a damn island that Luo Xiao can bounce it away. The captain of Scarface's smile suddenly came to an end, and the expression on his face instantly froze. Inima. What kind of ability is this? Do you want to hang like this? Sleeping slot. What the hell is this? How did the shell come back? Run away quickly. Help. The pirate minions who were originally planning to watch the play were instantly scared out of their wits. One by one, crying and calling out for his mother, he fled everywhere, hoping that his parents would give him two more legs. 
Luo Xiao watched the panicked pirate minions from high in the sky, and flashed a playful smile. Run. Can it run away? Roaming 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 the shell fell rapidly and blasted those minions into the sky. Pooh. Stepping on a horse. What kind of ability is this? Scarface Captain spat out the dust from his mouth and cursed. Brother, I feel like the ability this brat uses is a bit similar to my repulsive force. Nonsense, how could there be two identical abilities in this world? Every demon fruit is unique. Scarface immediately angrily rebuked. Miscellaneous, let this salty fish take you to experience the feeling of a roller coaster. Gravity. Wanxiang Tianin. The pirates of the Beast Pirate Squad all involuntarily flew into the air under the traction of Luo Xiu's gravity. What's going on? Why is my body floating? Me too. Help. Let me down. The body is getting higher and higher, and the fear is growing stronger. Someone even cried out loud. Woo woo, ma ma, I don't want to be a pirate anymore. I want to go home. After Luo Xiu sucked them up hundreds of meters in the air. The repulsive force suddenly unleashed. Shen Luo Tianjing. Chapter 3 First Character Summoning, Seeking Flowers, Collecting You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Whoosh! 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 The pirates flying high into the sky suddenly fell to the ground like meteorites falling from the sky. Ah! Help! Help! Dead! Dead! I'm going to die! Ah ah ah! Captain, help me! I saved you a snake skin! I didn't see that I flew faster than you! Captain Scarface let out an angry growl at the little brother who was asking for help. Bang! 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 Bang the earth is trembling. The waves are rolling. Smoke and dust are spreading everywhere. Hundreds of people fell rapidly from high altitude together, and the commotion was really extraordinary. The entire ground was shaken three times. For a while. The smoke and dust dissipated. Hundreds of human-shaped large earth pits appear on the ground, which is very spectacular. Chia, it seems that the force used is a bit too strong. Luo Xiu scratched his head a bit embarrassed, no matter what, this is his territory. In the end, he will have to pay to repair it. Oh my! My waist is so big, I almost broke it. Stepping on a horse. You must be here, this brat. Scar-faced cook crawled out of the pit and stared fiercely at Luo Xiu in the air. As the captain of the battle team under Mammoth Jack, there is something to it. Brother, come out quickly. Let's come together and feel uncomfortable slaughtering this dog. Scarface shouted towards the large pit not far away. They are two brothers, one is a gravitational fruit expert and the other is a repulsive fruit expert, both captains of the battle squadron under the command of Mammoth Jack. This attack on the kingdom of Fiori is the responsibility of the two of them. In Jack's opinion, attacking a small kingdom with a population of hundreds of thousands and two battle teams is enough. There are not many experts here. But they never expected that in the kingdom of Fiori, there would be this troublemaker named Rasho. Full level gravity, full level repulsion, full level armed color dominance. Even if Jack comes, he will still be abused. Here we go, brother. A big hole next to him immediately led to a big man who looked similar to him. Up. Understood. Scar-faced cook extended his arm to the left, and a house near him was instantly sucked in, throwing it forcefully into the air. Roaring at his younger brother Parker, brother, it's up to you. Don't worry, brother. Parker leapt out like a cheetah and shouted in front of the house, Reputation, catapult. Whoosh! The house was like a boring shell rushing towards Luo Xiao in the air. Oh, how dare you play with repulsion and gravity in front of me. I'm afraid I'm not dying. 
If their ability to manipulate gravity and repulsion is 10, then Luo Xiao is 100. There is no comparability at all. Give it back to you. I'm so special. It's a lie. It's really a damn repulsive force. Scarface stared blankly at the house that was being smashed at them more than ten times faster than before. Brother, help me. Scarface's ability is to manipulate gravity, which cannot be stopped at all. He can only seek help from his younger brother who controls repulsion. Leave it to me. My younger brother Parker aimed his hands at the rapidly approaching house and exerted his strength. Reputation. Ejection. Give me a damn move. Ah dot. Puff. Squeeze your butt out. Wow. Brother, your fart smells so bad. Scarface covered her nose in disgust and said. Parker stumbled and almost fell to the ground now is the time to say this. Don't say it's squeezing out your butt. Even if he squeezes out feces, he can't stop it. Rumble with the repulsive power of Luo Shimon, this house is even more impressive than his mother's powerful cannon. These two guys were directly turned into meat sauce. Boom, I don't even know his mother anymore. After a while, a group of King's army cautiously walked over and peeled off the bricks. Seeing the two brothers with blood and flesh blurred, they were immediately excited and couldn't help themselves. Dead. Dead. Captain Pirate was killed by His Majesty the King. Long live Your Majesty the King. Oh oh oh. Long live. Long live. Long live Your Majesty the King. The soldiers and the people who heard this news immediately cheered. At this moment, Luo Xiu's prestige climbed to its peak. At this moment. He is the god of this country. Ah uh, ah. Uh. After finishing work, please take care of it and go back to sunbathe as a salted fish. Luo Xiu yawned, stretched lazily, and stretched his body. Wave your hand at the citizens and turn around to leave. Wow. Your Majesty waved back at me. I can't do it anymore, I'm going to die. A blonde beauty on the street saw Luo Xiao waving at her and fainted with steam on her face. Your Majesty the King is so handsome. Your Majesty, I will give you a monkey. Defeating the pirate's attack, Luo Xiao instantly became an idol throughout the country. In addition, he is very handsome, and many beautiful women cry and shout to give birth to monkeys for her. However, he couldn't see all of this. Because at this moment, he is sunbathing in the garden of the palace. The palace maids and guards around stared at Luo Xiao with shining eyes. Men are full of worship. The woman is full of admiration. Especially those palace maids, they wished they had eaten Luo Xiao directly. This kind of being watched by people is very uncomfortable, so they are all sent out directly and he instructed him not to disturb him unless there was anything super important. Only Eileen, the intimate maid who has been taking care of herself, has been left behind. The world is finally clean. Luo Xiao can finally make salted fish with peace of mind. Bright sunshine. A verdant lawn. Comfortable lounge chairs. Beautiful little sister. This is the life that a salted fish should have. It's delicious. As Luo Xiao enjoyed the life of salted fish, the value of salted fish in the system also continued to increase. Salted fish value increased by one salted fish value increased by two salted fish value increased by one morning to noon, noon to afternoon, afternoon to evening. For a whole day, Luo Xiao lay motionless on the lounge chair like a dead fish. Eating and drinking water, the beautiful little maid provides a complete set of services. You don't even need to do it yourself. Due to the destruction of two teams of the attacking beast pirates by Luo Xiao's team, the headquarters of the beast pirates did not come to their doorstep for a while. Luo Xiao hasn't done anything these days, just sunbathing in the garden. The little maid Eileen couldn't bear to watch anymore and often urged him to handle his official duties. It is impossible to handle official duties, and it is impossible to handle official duties in this lifetime. 
How could Luo Xiu, who aspires to become a king of salted fish, handle his official duties? If I don't handle my official duties, this country will probably be paralyzed. It seems like finding someone to help me with my official duties. Who are you looking for? You must have the ability and be loyal to yourself, otherwise this country will end up being a worthless fish king. By the way, isn't the salted fish system capable of summoning characters? One wave. System, how to summon characters. System. 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 Luo Xiu shouted three times without any sound from the system. I Nima. This guy won't fall asleep again, will he? What are you shouting, disturbing people's clear dreams? You don't know how to read it yourself. The functions of this system are all automated, and you just need to read and operate it yourself. After a while, a lazy voice appeared in Luo Xiu's mind, appearing very impatient. Holy crap this guy is indeed sleeping. Surprisingly, it's even salter than me. Get it. I won't disturb you anymore, I'll see for myself. Luo Xiu can understand the system's emotions very well, because he is also a salted fish. Character summoning, consumes 100 salted fish points each time. Well, it's simple and easy to understand, very in line with the style of salted fish. Then summon it. Luo Xiu clicked the summoning button with his mind, and a door of space suddenly appeared in front of him. Who could it be? Chapter 4 My King Eltolia, Seeking Flowers, Collecting You are listening at NovelFull.audio Luo Xiu stared blankly at the summoning gate emitting a mysterious light in front of him. Lying trough. The noise is a bit loud. The light gradually dissipated, and a petite figure slowly appeared in front of Luo Xiu. Startled, Luo Xiu is the most good dot looking boss. It's like stuffing a duck egg. I strangled it. It's actually her. The legendary king, Altoria Pandragon. Luck is really amazing. Surprisingly summoned my king. Although she has a beautiful and petite figure. But her strength is just as amazing as her beauty. At the moment she drew her sword from the stone, she stopped growing and aging, forever frozen in the moment of fifteen years old. Luo Xiu carefully examined the king in front of him. Xing Shui's skin, shawled golden hair, a pair of emerald green eyes, and a very beautiful face even without any makeup. It's simply stunning. Wearing a dress with a blue background and white edges, covered with silver armor with blue patterns on the outside. Wearing a pure white long coat on the legs, the feet and hands are completely covered by thick silver armor, and wearing a thick cloak. The whole person looks incredibly heroic. Beauty and strength coexist. What you're talking about is people like my King Eltolia. Excuse me, are you my master? That's right, I am. Luo Xiu glanced at the dull hair on Eltolia's head without leaving a trace and was very eager to touch it. This is the idea he had before when he watched anime again. My king's silly hair must be very touching. Altolia did not see Rosie's thoughts and looked at him with a serious expression. Looking at Luo Xiu with a solemn expression, he said, So, from now on, my sword will be your sword, and your fate coexists with me. Summon successfully. Character. Altolia Dragon Loyalty. Max Favorite Rating. Max congratulations to the host for summoning a queen with both beauty and strength. Now you can be a salted fish with peace of mind. Not bad, not bad. The words of the system deeply resonate with me. With such a remarkable figure as my king, I still have to worry about being a divine official in the kingdom. Just make a salted fish with peace of mind. You know, she used to be the king of Britain. A small kingdom with a population of hundreds of thousands can be easily controlled by Lord Wu with just one hand. May I ask what instructions the master has? Um. Can I just forget about your silly hair? Luo Xiu pointed at the golden dull hair that was curled up on her head, looking at her with an extremely hopeful gaze. Puff. 
Altolia's pretty face instantly turned red, and steam rubbed against her head. I feel so ashamed that I wish I could crawl into the ground. That silly hair is a symbol of her glory, and no one can touch it except the closest person. Is this? This? Is this a proposal? My king looked at Luo Xiu with a hazy gaze. Through the summoning of the system, my king's loyalty and favorability are all at their highest level. So after hearing Luo Xiu's words, besides shyness, my heart was more filled with joy and sweetness. If it were someone else, I wouldn't know how many sections she had cut into with her promise of victory sword. Ah. Uh. Altolia, I, I. I didn't mean to make such a rude request. If you don't want to, it's okay. Luo Xiu waved his hand to her repeatedly, looking at Altolia, who had lowered his head and didn't know the appropriate expression, thinking she didn't want it. Altolia was one of Rosie's favorite anime queens in her previous life, and she didn't want to see her unhappy at all. Nothing. Nothing. If it's a master, I can accept it. Altolia's voice is so low that it can almost be ignored, not much louder than a mosquito's hum. If it weren't for Luo Xiu's body being modified at full level, he wouldn't have been able to hear it. Upon hearing the words of my king, Luo Xiu was immediately too excited to handle himself. My arm trembled as I reached towards the golden pubic hair on Altolia's head. Turtle. That's my king's foolish hair. It's almost there. It's almost there. I will soon be able to touch my king's silly hair. Finally. Luo Xiu's palm touched the silly hair on my king's head. Both people's bodies trembled at the same time. Luo Xiu is too excited. My king is too shy. My king's dull hair, although only one, symbolizes her glory. Now. I was touched by Luo Xiu. That means Altolia admits to being Rosie's person. The dull hair on her head was gently caressed by someone, and Altolia, not to mention how shy she was, became soft and unable to lift a single bit of strength. My calf softened and I fell directly into Luo Xiu's arms. A strong masculine aura rushed towards her, and yes, Altolia became even more shy. I felt it for a long time before I could let go of Altolia. At this moment, my king seems to have completely lost his previous high and cold demeanor, just like a little girl falling in love. The gaze towards Luo Xiu was filled with love. Feeling the attachment and admiration of my king's gaze, Luo Xiu felt so happy in his heart. This salty fish king system is indeed salty enough. You can reach the full level of anything. Skip the process directly, reach the maximum level upon arrival and did whatever you wanted, he 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 he, your majesty, it's really time for you to handle your official duties. If you don't handle it again, the country will be paralyzed. In the distance, a voice came from the young maid before she even arrived. The voice was filled with resentment. Your majesty, everything is good. He is handsome and strong, but he is too lazy. Lying in the garden sunbathing for three consecutive days, like a salted fish without dreams. Oh, if Luo Xiu knew what the little maid was thinking, he would definitely give her 30.2 likes. We are really a salted fish. It is impossible to handle official affairs, and it is impossible to handle official affairs in this lifetime. In the future, the affairs of the kingdom will be entrusted to my first princess, Altolia. She represents me. If you have anything, just go directly to Altolia. She's much more powerful than me. Luo Xiu pulled Altoria, who was still shy, up to the little maid Eileen and said. Luo Xiu, who governs the divine horse of the country, has completely mastered nine tricks and is completely ignorant. This. Isn't that good? The little maid looked weakly at Luo Xiu. Suddenly, a strange queen appeared, which surprised her even more. Then the king asked the queen to govern the country, which surprised her even more. What's wrong? It's so great. Oh, um no, Altolia is the person I trust the most, with her in everything okay. I had become accustomed to calling myself king, 
and I almost never changed my way of speaking. Master. Altolia looked at Rosie with immense emotion and entrusted the country directly to her. What courage is this? What kind of trust is this? If it weren't for outsiders around, our Lord Wu Wang would definitely forcefully fall into Luo Xiu's arms to express her inner emotions. Chapter 5 Revenge Comes Seeking Fresh Flowers and Collecting You are listening at NovelFull.audio Next, Luo Xiu can be his salted fish without any worries. All things in the kingdom were handed over to Altolia by Luo Xiu. Directly make Altolia her spokesperson. Although at the beginning, all the citizens were confused and puzzled by Luo Xiu's approach. But after that battle, Luo Xiu's prestige in the country has reached an unprecedented height. No one came forward to oppose it. They chose to believe in their own king, his majesty. Of course. Altolia lived up to expectations and managed the country in an orderly manner. Politics, military, economy. Everything is proceeding in an orderly manner. Altolia's strength and ability gradually gained recognition from the citizens of the Kingdom of Fiori. They gradually accepted the princess who had emerged from nowhere, and even began to worship her. In terms of strength, the commander of the Wang army was defeated by her. In terms of ability, governing this country is more than enough. In terms of beauty, the entire kingdom of Fiori cannot find a more beautiful and elegant beauty than Altolia. With such strength, ability, and beauty, the queen helps the king with things. What else can they object to? Especially the women in this country. Almost everyone targets Altolia. Altolia is their role model in life. They also hope that one day they can become women like Princess Altolia, who combines strength and beauty, to help the king manage the country. On this day, Altolia finished dealing with the affairs of the kingdom and arrived at the training ground of the kingdom. Seeing the soldiers of the kingdom training fervently according to her method. A heart-stirring smile appeared on the face. Instantly enchant a large area. It seems that no matter where you are, you rely on your strength to speak. Altolia remembered when Rosius had just taken over the country, these guys in the army, although they also had some respect for her. But that's all because it's due to the master. Rather than saying they respect themselves, they respect the master. As King Arthur, how could you tolerate such things? At present, he picked out all the masters of the kingdom's army. From top to bottom. No one can take Altolia's sword. Even the highest instance army commander cannot do it. Just kidding. Who is my king? The legendary King Arthur, the Knight King. The strength is at least at the level of a general. How could these vegetable chickens, who couldn't even defeat Jack's battle team captain, be opponents of my king? From that day on. All the soldiers showed genuine respect for this petite but exceptionally powerful princess. My subordinate Kate, please see Princess Altolia. Captain Kate, who was supervising the training, ran over quickly when he saw Altolia, not daring to show any signs of neglect. Both her identity and strength have earned Kate's respect. Perhaps only women like Princess Altolia can be worthy of a king like a god. This is the most genuine thought in Kate's heart. And what about Luo Xiu, who is regarded as a god by the people? At this moment, he was lying soft on a specially made lounge chair, wearing small sunglasses, propping himself up in the sun, with a cup of secret juice made by a palace chef beside him. When thirsty, just open your mouth and the pretty little maid will deliver it to his mouth as soon as possible. Just move your mouth and gently take a few bites. He doesn't have to worry at all. After being exposed to the sun for several days, Luo Xiu's whole body emitted a salty fish smell. Hey! No one can achieve his level like the king. If Katie had seen Rosie's current appearance, she didn't know if the image she had in her heart would collapse. Report. Dot. Your Majesty the King. Mammoth Jack has filmed four more teams and is coming over. They are respectively the animal species Mantis Fruit Wilk, 
the animal species bear fruit berserker Kumamoto, the blood sword hero Cecil, and the fruit blaster cannon fist Beck. Every captain is a ruthless pirate. A palace attendant with a panicked expression and a fearful expression rushed over to report to Luo Xiu. Ah. Ah. Dot. Luo Xiu stretched lazily and slowly sat up, looking like he had just woken up from sleep. Um. What did you just say? Luo Xiu asked lazily. Just now, he was still in a salted fish state and couldn't hear what the guard was saying. Seeing Luo Xiu's indifferent appearance, the guard's heart was filled with admiration. That's the beast pirates. The super pirates of the new world, second only to the whitebeard pirates. Your Majesty the King, there is not a trace of emotional fluctuation. It can be seen that His Majesty the King did not take them to heart at all. Your Majesty the King truly deserves to be Your Majesty the King. If Luo Xiu knew what this guard was thinking, there would definitely be hundreds of grass mud horses roaring past. I just switched from a salted fish state, you've been thinking too much, right? Report to His Majesty the King that Jack the Mammoth has sent someone to seek revenge. Send out four battle teams. But please rest assured, Your Majesty, that we will definitely fight the pirates to the end and pledge to defend every inch of the kingdom's territory to the death. The guard saw Luo Shimon's indifferent expression, and his originally somewhat anxious heart completely calmed down. It's like getting chicken blood. With such a powerful backing from His Majesty the King, I am even afraid of his grandmother's legs. At this moment, Luo Xiu's heart was a bit confused. Why did this guard suddenly seem to be on medication? Didn't you just look like your clothes were scared to death? Why did you suddenly have such a fierce competition? How doesn't understand? How doesn't understand? If Luo Xiu knew that the reason why the guards became so excited was entirely because of his just now salty fish like attitude, perhaps he would just laugh out loud. Ma ma. It's just four fan teams. Altolia can handle it alone, no need for me to do anything. Rosie lazily waved his hand to the guard. Princess Altolia. Can she handle it? This time there are four fan teams. Ignoring the guard's doubts, Luo Xiu slowly stood up from its small recliner. Although Luo Xiu is very salty, I still need to admire the fighting style of my king. At this moment, the little girl beside her looked at Luo Xiu standing up from the small recliner and left tears of excitement. It's not easy. His Majesty the King has finally gotten up from the small lounge chair. Port of the Kingdom of Fiori. Altolia has long led the army of this kingdom to be prepared here. Upon receiving the news, she quickly utilized her military talent and arranged everything properly. Waiting for the arrival of the four teams of the Beast Pirates. Cook, Parker and those two brothers are really messed up. Surprisingly, one of them was killed by a small kingdom. How shameful we are for Lord Jack. A big man over three meters tall was waving his fist like a sandbag, and his words were full of disdain. It's the one with the ability to explode fruits, cannon fist back. It's better to be careful. After the two of them teamed up, their strength is still good. Being able to kill them indicates that there is something in that kingdom. A man wearing a kimono, with a thin figure but exceptionally sharp eyes, spoke calmly in his voice. He had a sword hanging around his waist, which was the blood-colored sword warrior Cecil. No matter what he has, the four of us set out together to be said to be in such a small kingdom. Even the great kingdom can be destroyed by us. This big bear is quite right. I don't believe that small kingdom can stop our four teams. A man with narrow and slanted eyes glanced at the confident bear-like man and said several times. Who the hell are you talking about, big bear? I'm a brown bear, okay. If you keep beeping, I'll slap you to death. Oh, do you still want to take pictures of me with your bulky physique? Dream of you. The slanted-eyed man sneered mercilessly. All right, stop arguing for now. If you want to fight, go back and fight again. 
If you mess up the task assigned by Lord Jack, we won't have any good fruit to eat. The swordsman spoke up and stopped them. Upon hearing the captain's name, they immediately fell silent, with a hint of fear in their eyes. It seems that Jack's cruel personality, like a tyrant, still makes them very afraid. Report to Princess Altolia. The enemy still has ten nautical miles left. On the watchtower, the soldiers observed and reported to Altolia. Have all the cannons been arranged yet? Report. The setup is complete. Okay. Let them enter the port directly later. Understood. Altolia stared intently through a telescope at the approaching team of the beast pirates under Jack's command. Is it the country where you want to invade the master? I, Altolia, swear in the name of a knight. We will completely annihilate the invading enemy. Oath to defend the master to the death. From the moment she was summoned by Luo Xiu to chat, she belonged to Luo Xiu and was destined to live for him in this lifetime. Great War. Coming soon. P.S. The new book set sale. If you think it's good, you can click to collect it. It's updated three times a day for stable updates. Chapter 6 The Power of Our King You are listening at NovelFull.audio Four teams sailed one after another into the ports of the Kingdom of Fiori. But what surprised the pirates of the Beast Pirate Squad was that they had not encountered any resistance. I entered the inner port of this country very smoothly. For a country dominated by the ocean, ports can be said to be a gateway to the country. Guarding is naturally of utmost importance. But. They didn't even see a hair along the way. There's something wrong with the situation. Jin Hao's feeling was the most acute, and Cecil clearly sensed a sense of danger. Ha ha ha, these turtle grandsons were so scared that they heard that our beast pirate squad was attacking, and they were too scared to leave. The bear, who looked as fierce as a bear, looked at the deserted port and stood at the bow of the ship laughing wildly. His expression was filled with disdain for this country. The king's army hiding in the dark was filled with indignation one by one, wishing to immediately go out and slaughter this group of scum. However, there was no command from Altolia. They still need to wait. The ports of the kingdom of Fiori form a crescent-shaped curve, with only one exit for the entire port. When the fleet of the beast pirates had completely entered the inner harbor, a huge iron wall suddenly rose from the rear harbor. Completely seal off the only exit route of the entire port. At the moment when the iron wall rises. Above the port, black cannons appeared one after another on the docks. At this moment. They only realized that they had been tricked by others. This is what Altolia has already prepared. Close the door and beat the dog. Catch turtles in a jar. This is Altolia's strategy. It only took a few hours from receiving the news to come up with such a perfect strategy. I can only say it. My king truly deserves to be my king. Altolia wielded the sword of the oath of victory and suddenly swung it downwards, aiming hundreds of cannons from the royal army at the four fleets in the harbor. The dark muzzle gives people an extremely eerie and terrifying feeling. Fire. With one command. A hundred cannons fired in unison. Bang. 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 Bang countless shells flew towards the pirate group of beasts in the harbor. Roaming and rumbling roaming and rumbling hundreds of shells exploded together. That power. It's really earth-shattering. The fierce waves instantly made the seawater in the port become turbulent, and the ships of the four fleets of the Beast Pirate Squadron suddenly became unstable. The pirates on the ship became disorganized, and the weaker miscellaneous fish couldn't stand firm. People with some strength can also dodge shells with agility behind them. And those with weaker abilities are not so lucky. Anyone hit by a shell is either killed or injured. Kumamoto instantly transformed into an immensely tall brown bear, slapping away an oncoming shell and turning to roar at his crew. What the hell are you panicking me about? Where did our gunner die? Give me a fight back. 
give him a hard blow. Upon hearing the roar of their captain, the pirates in their suits began to frantically fill in their cannons. But, after they fired, they realized that their artillery couldn't reach such a long range. The royal army led by Altolia stood on the dock. Under the influence of gravity, the artillery shells naturally fly far away from the towering terrain. But, the pirates are different. They are in an upward position, and under the influence of gravity, the shells cannot fly far at all. Report to captain, their terrain is too high for our shells to hit them. A gunner came to the bear with a sky full of artillery and reported to him. Treading on horses. I didn't expect the people of this small kingdom to have two brushes left. The bear cursed inwardly and turned to the crew, saying, Charge me. I'll tear them up alive when I get to the shore. As a demon fruit capable individual, his strength is mostly limited in naval combat. To fully exert one's strength, one must go ashore. After several rounds of artillery fire, the fleet of the beast pirates finally rushed to the shore. The four fleets became scattered under the baptism of artillery, and nearly half of the crew died. The rest is also in a state of embarrassment. Morale is very low. Altolia seized the opportunity and encouraged the soldiers behind her, saying, Warriors of the kingdom, pick up your sharp sword and kill these pirates who are trying to invade our country. Oh, 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 go ahead. Kill me. At this moment, the morale of the king's army is at its peak. One by one, as if they had been beaten with chicken blood, holding spears and sharp swords, they roared and charged down. Altolia led the king's army to instantly fight against the pirates and form a regiment. Wherever the sword of the oath of victory reaches, a pirate will surely die. There is no enemy of unity at all. At this moment, Altolia's seemingly petite body instantly transformed into a killing god on the battlefield. No one dares to approach within ten meters of the body. My Wang Jiwei. Undoubtedly revealed. Hmm. Cecil beheaded a king's army and turned his gaze to Altolia, who was undergoing a fierce battle. He actually felt a hint of fear from Altolia. This is the swordsman's intuition. It's unbelievable. You know, he is a peerless expert at the pinnacle of swordsmanship. She felt danger on a little girl who was less than 1.6 meters tall, just one step away from the Jinhao. It's just ridiculous. He never admits this feeling. He's going to kill Altoria to prove that this feeling is wrong. How could my peak swordsman not be as good as a 15 or 16 year old girl? Whoosh! A sword aura several meters long pierced through the human skirt and pointed straight at Altolia in battle. But Altolia's innate skill, intuition, is at level A. The body slightly dodged the powerful sword energy. Intuition is the ability to instantly determine the most suitable action for oneself during combat. The intuition of level A has entered the field of predicting the future can predict trajectory through wind and intuition, and avoid attacks from firearms. It's a bit like the aura of seeing and hearing in the world of pirates. In fact, Cecil also believes so. Did you dodge it? It seems that this guy's aura and aura are also quite impressive. Cecil stared solemnly at Altolia. An expert knows if there is one with just one move. Although the blow just now was just a probe, it still had a strength of six or seven points. Altolia easily dodged, showing her strength. It seems we need to show our full strength. Cecil clenched the famous sword in his hand and looked at Altolia with a strong sense of war in the sky. But. Whoosh. A blue light flashed by. An invisible sword blade instantly pierced his neck. Hurry up. It's really too fast. My king's magic release level is also A, and if her magic is fully unleashed, it can instantly reach an extremely terrifying speed. The bloody swordsman Cecil couldn't even react. Eh. This body is a bit familiar. Why is there no brain? Holy crap isn't that me. 
This is his last thought before his death. Altolia's sword is really too fast. By the time Cecil's head and body were moving, his consciousness had not immediately disappeared. Peak Sword Hero One swift strike. My Wang Jiwei Terrifying P.S. The new book is seeking care. If you think it's okay, you can bookmark it and give some flowers to support it. The rabbit is very grateful. Chapter 7 The Pirates of the Hundred Beasts and Pirate Squad Hanged with Hammers You are listening at NovelFull.audio Dead, dead, dead. A small cadre belonging to the Cecil team beside him looked incredulously at the captain whose body had separated. Oh my god! The captain is a peak swordsman. Jew, and were unexpectedly captured. This little girl is too cruel, isn't she? This young cadre feels his hand holding the sword trembling a bit. Fear. In an instant, his entire soul was filled. Looking at the girl in front of him who is not even as tall as his own Shionko, this pirate officer cannot muster any courage to resist. The scene where Altolia killed his captain just now had a huge impact on him. Puzzy. As he was stunned, the sword of Altolia's oath of victory mercilessly ran over his neck. End his fear. The team that lost its captain was immediately in turmoil, and under the leadership of Altolia, the morale of the king's soldiers was like a rainbow. One by one, fierce and fearless like hungry wild wolves, they rushed towards the fierce pirates. She. Just a natural leader. The situation of one side falling on this side immediately caught the attention of the other three teams. When they saw their former companions turn into headless corpses, they were so shocked that they couldn't bear it. As the team captains of Jack's battle team, they naturally have a good understanding of each other's abilities. Blood-colored swordsman Cecil is quite famous even in the entire New World. I don't know how many pirates and navy died under his sword. His strength and fame were all achieved by killing him with each sword and blade, which cannot be fake. But. It's just this powerful person who was killed by a little girl who came out of nowhere. They couldn't believe their eyes. This little girl is a bit mischievous, let's go together. The slanted-eyed man coldly glanced at Altolia and said to the two captains not far away. I did not underestimate her at all because of my king's appearance. Being able to instantly kill the bloody swordsman Cecil, her strength has already demonstrated everything. Up. The other two did not hesitate, they all rushed towards my king. Ah. Kumamoto Kumamoto let out a loud shout, and his body rapidly expanded, transforming into a huge brown bear that had been five or six meters tall all along, with bear fruit and brown bear form. Roar up to the sky. Amazing power. Squeak. The man with slanted eyes also let out a strange cry, and his body rapidly changed. Two arms turned into two huge sickles, emitting a cold glow under the sunlight, and behind them grew a pair of thin wings. Animal type praying mantis fruit. Bang bang. Bang bang. The big brown bear waved its huge paws and roared as it ran towards Altoria. Although he has a bulky physique, his speed is not slow at all. Armed colors, bear paws. With the lesson of the bloody swordsman Cecil before, Kumamoto dared not have any carelessness, coming up is armed and domineering. The huge bear paws cover the sky and sun. The power contained in it is enough to flatten a small mountain. But. Altolia did not dodge. As the Night King, she has her own dignity and pride. She doesn't think she'll lose to a big stupid bear. Magic release. Raise your sword to resist. Boom. The huge bear paw wrapped in armed and domineering colors was easily taken down by my king. The fierce force stirred up an incredibly fierce wave of energy. The weak chickens around are unable to intervene in their battle in close proximity. What? Surprisingly, it was so easy to pick up the bear's paw. It's a lie. This slap has at least tens of thousands of pounds of strength. 
the little girl who looked less than a hundred pounds surprisingly easily and impressively blocked it. What an international joke. The most shocking thing is Kumamoto himself. He knows best how strong this slap is. This palm. No matter how strong it is. Still domineering. They have all reached his peak. It's not an exaggeration to say that this bear's paw is his pinnacle blow. Tisk dot. My king. Raise your hand. Wave your sword. A huge sword energy mixed with majestic magic was instantly cut out. Not good. Armed colors, defend. Years of fighting in the new world have allowed the bear to instantly attach its armed colors to protect its chest. He felt a crisis of death from Altolia's sword energy. Puzzy. The huge body, five or six meters high, instantly flew backwards. In front of Xiong, there was a huge wound from the left shoulder to the right abdomen, bleeding incessantly, and the forest was cold and terrifying. If it weren't for his animal fruit ability, rough skin and thick flesh, and strong defense. My king's sword may directly kill him. What kind of person is this guy? Such strength. Why is there an unnamed place of origin? The bear's gaze towards Altolia was filled with fear. One sword. Almost killed him. Terrifying. My armed aura was easily shattered. What a powerful swordsman this is. Whoosh. Two intersecting sword lights appeared behind Altolia. Raid. The slanted-eyed man of the mantis fruit ability wielded his two large machetes and slashed straight at the back of my king while he was wielding his sword. Ha, ha, ha a strong wind suddenly surged around my king, and dark blue magic surged out, forming a circular shield around him to envelop it. The cross sword light was directly shattered by the surging magic. Explode, cannon punch. Beck, who has the ability to explode fruits, punched my king's magic shield with a punch. Boom boom boom. Suddenly, there were sounds and explosions in the air, with astonishing power. But. Ran bingo egg. My king's magic shield is still stable. Bang. Altolia leaped suddenly, and on New Year's Eve, a large pit appeared on the ground, with its surroundings cracking open like spider webs. Sharp sword pointing directly at cannon fist back. Ha ha. Armed. Cannon fist. A shiny black fist with a metallic luster, accompanied by a roaring explosion, rushed forward. Boom. At the moment the fist touched the sword of oath of victory, it exploded instantly. The fierce waves immediately made my king's wind king's barrier feel like it had collapsed. But the cost is that his arm is useless. The dark armed aura was like paper in front of my king's oath of victory sword, piercing straight from my fist to my shoulder. Ah ah ah, the painful howls make people unable to bear to look directly at. P.S. New Book Seeking Care, Dear Readers and Gentlemen, Please Give Me Some Flowers and Review Tickets to Support It. Thank You Very Much. Chapter 8 the salted fish is very angry, and the consequences are very serious. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Above the dock, Luo Xiao was still lying on his small lounge chair, taking a few sips of his drink, lazily looking at Altolia, who was eating vegetables below. Your Majesty, Princess Altolia is really amazing. Those pirates are no match at all. The little maid excitedly pointed to Altolia below, who looked like a god of war, and said to Rasho excitedly. Get it. Another small fan of my king. Mmm, mmm, mm, that's for sure. How could those weak chickens be Altolia's opponents? It's boring, it's boring. The ending is already predetermined. Luo Xiao said in all sorts of boredom. Flip over on the lounge chair and find a comfortable position to face the sunlight. By the way, the sunshine at the dock is a bit intense. After sunbathing here for a while, my physical fitness has grown at a speed that can even catch up with spending half a day sunbathing in the palace. Beeping the dog, isn't this the light emitted by a person from the sun? 
Forget it, forget it, whatever it is. As long as it makes me feel comfortable. Take a moment to squint. Nanny. This guy who looks like a salted fish is actually a king. Are you joking? The old praying mantis, who was flying in the air preparing for a surprise attack, couldn't believe its ears when it heard the little maid calling Luo Xiu. No matter where you look, this guy doesn't seem like a king of a country, right? There is not a hint of royal temperament. This is a dead end. I think it's more like a salted fish. Although somewhat shocked, the old mantis is as more of a thief. As long as you catch him, you're not afraid that woman will submit. Mantis man Wilk doesn't think that guy like a salted fish can have much combat power. A cunning smile appeared on his face, and he flapped his wings and flew down from high altitude. Two sharp machetes pointed straight at Luo Xiu, who was enjoying sunbathing while squinting his eyes. Roar! Luo Xiu's personal guard instantly transformed and blocked in front of him. Animal type cat fruit male lion form. A relatively strong fruit in the animal kingdom. But. Xiuxi is really too young, at most one or two years older than Luo Xiu, and his strength is not quite impressive compared to these big pirates who fight in the new world all year round. Not long after the battle, the mantis man cut many wounds with two large machetes. But. Rao So. He didn't take a step back either. His duty is to protect the king. Anyone who wants to harm the king must step over his body. This is the philosophy he was instilled from birth. He he. What a annoying guy he is. The praying mantis man looked at Shusi, who was like a lion, with some annoyance in the air. Although this guy's strength is not as good as him, it is not a very easy task for the mantis man to defeat him quickly. It seems that if you want to catch this king who is like a salted fish, you must show some real skills. Praying Mantis 2 Blade Flow, Swift Wind Slay Two sharp machetes swiftly swung in the air, unleashing two pale green sword energies. With a howling gust of wind, mixed with gravel and dust, it flew towards him at lightning speed. The best way to deal with such a strong attack is to dodge. But for Shios, it is absolutely impossible to avoid. Because behind him is the king of this country. Ah ah, lion, the shining star. Shiosi let out a roar, and his knight's long sword swung at lightning speed, causing the surrounding air to explode in waves. A massive lion's head charged towards the incoming sword energy with an angry roar. This is currently his most powerful move. The strongest technique developed by combining one's own swordsmanship and fruit abilities. Boom! The two sword energies clashed fiercely, emitting a strong burst of energy. The fierce airflow blew away everything from Luo Xiu's small recliner, sun umbrella, sunglasses, melon seed drinks, mineral water, and so on. Even he himself was blown to the ground. I took a mouthful of dirt. Ah ba ba ba. Is it swollen? What happened? Did an earthquake occur? Rosie, who had just woken up from his sleep, looked at the mess on the ground with a bewildered expression. The expression was clearly saying, who can tell me what exactly happened? Oh. Selling cakes. Oh my god. The pretty little maid looked at Luo Xiu with a desperate expression on her face. What kind of monster is my king? You can fall asleep in this kind of fierce artillery fire, shouting and killing on the battlefield. How much do you really love sleeping? Ju Huang is just like that. Your Majesty, there is an enemy attack. The little maid pointed to Xiu's who was fighting against the mantis man over there and said. Upon hearing this, Luo Xiu. Anger surged in an instant. Damn it! What are you doing when you come to disturb me when you have nothing to do? Just be honest and be slaughtered by my king. For a salted fish party, shattered dreams are the top priority in life. Disturbing a salty fish's dream, the consequences can be very serious. Hey! That very ugly praying mantis man, 
I'm telling you very seriously now that disturbing the sleep of King Ben Xianyu is very serious. Now King Ben Xianyu is going to get angry. Luo Xiu looked very angry with his hands on his hips, and the consequences were very serious. Dot. Wo Wo a gust of cold wind blew by, making the scene awkward for a moment both the mantis man and the guards and maids on Luo Xiu's side were staring at Luo Xiu in amazement. Are you the monkey who invited Dubi? How could someone speak so confidently about salted fish? It's really on the rise. Puhaha, you're laughing at me. Are you trying to laugh at me for inheriting my praying mantis fruit? Surprised, the mantis man immediately burst into laughter. Tears of laughter are almost coming out almost fell from high altitude. What a special thing. The anger of the salted fish king. Are you trying to sprinkle salt all over me and kill me? What a strange thing. You're so ugly. How dare you look down on salted fish? Do you think salted fish are all weak chickens in your impression? Anyway. It's time for you to feel the fear of salted fish. Swipe your arms forward and retract your fingers. Gravity, Max Wanxiang Tianin. Shu. The praying mantis man, who was laughing, suddenly saw a speeding train quickly take Ji Hao away. Holy crap how exactly is this special fat for? Caught off guard by such strong gravity, no matter how hard he struggled, the praying mantis man almost scared to pee. Next. Repulsion, Max Super Asterisk Unidirectional Asterisk Shen Luo Tianjing. Boom. The body of the praying mantis man was like being hit by a super meteorite, instantly falling from the dock into the harbor. There was hardly any reaction at all. The harbor of Nuoda cannot withstand such a full dot scale repulsion. Bong. The seawater in the entire harbor suddenly dispersed in all directions under the pressure of repulsion, and the tens of meters of deep sea disappeared in an instant. The vast port has turned into a huge abyss. At this moment. Whether it's a pirate, a king's army, or even my king. Everyone present was stunned and scared to pee. Is this really something that people can do rough? It's really amazing. All the pirates were as motionless as if they had been cast a immobilization spell. Gudong. Gudong the sound of swallowing saliva kept coming and going, and the neck twisted mechanically to the highest point of the dock. Looking at the spicy man with a fearful expression. At this moment, Luo Xiu looked arrogantly at the mantis man who had turned into flesh and mud in the deep pit. Humph. Make you look down on salted fish. Explode your dog head, um no, mantis head. Not only did he explode his praying mantis head, but he even exploded his praying mantis eggs. Hi. Poor wow. P.S. New Book Seeking Care, Flowers, Monthly Tickets, Evaluation Tickets, Thank You All. Chapter 9 Feeling Dumb Hair and Not Angry Ha, One Third Seeking Flowers You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Isn't it good to be alive? Why do you have to provoke this salted fish? At this moment, the two individuals, Bao Xiong and Pao Quan, who were still struggling to survive, truly realized the terror of this country. There are ten thousand grass mud horses roaring past in my heart. What a special thing. How could such a small country have such terrifying talents? A girl is enough to be terrifying. Who knows what's even more terrifying is still ahead. Watching the vast harbor become empty, not to mention their strength. Even if their captain, Mammoth Jack, comes, he will have to be hammered. It's cold. It seems that GG is destined today. At this point. They have completely lost their fighting spirit. Why bother hitting a hammer? Forget it. The warriors of the kingdom, His Majesty the King is right behind us. He is with us, exclaimed Altolia, looking at Jijin's arm on time, warriors. Show your bravest side to the king and kill all these invaders. Attack. Oh, 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 Altolia responded in unison, 
and the soldiers of the kingdom were instantly ignited with passion when they saw Roshina's divine attack. Each one seemed to have been drugged. The crowd is furious. 200% of the combat power was deployed. These scared and confused pirates from Luo Xiao are no match at all. They are all crying and shouting for their mothers after being killed, running wildly. Dad, Dad. I won't fight anymore, please let me go. A pirate was so scared that he called out to his father, a soldier who had longed for mercy with a runny nose and tears. But. The soldiers didn't pay any attention. The spear in his hand mercilessly pierced his Xiong's chest. Immediately, he spat out a mouthful of water and cursed at his body, you really don't even have ancestors. When you massacred our country's citizens, why didn't you let them go? When these pirates started plundering this country, both sides became a never-dot-ending situation. Be merciful. How could it be? Under the fierce pursuit of the king's army, these pirates showed no signs of ferocity as before, running around like frightened little sheep. Hurry up. Run away. The people of this country are all demons. Help. Hurry up. The people in this country are too powerful to beat. Get on the ship, hurry up and leave this damn place. Ma ma, I need to go home. I won't be a pirate anymore. Woo woo. The merciless massacre by the king's army completely disrupted the policies of these pirates and caused them to be full of ugliness. They only have one idea at this moment. That's running away. Hurry up and get out of this damn place. The captain is dead. They even beat a chicken. This country is really terrifying. All four captains have been killed, and it's effortless to see the other team relaxed. Even Captain Jack couldn't reach this level. Run. Hurry up and run. But. When they struggled to reach the port, they were dumbfounded. There are also a few special boats. Their ship had already turned into a pair of wooden debris under the attack of the Shenluo Tianjing just now by Luo Xiao. Oh my goodness. There's no even a last resort left. Ah ah. I want to go home, I want to go home. The pirates at the port knelt on the ground, clutching their heads and shouting in despair. Don't come over. Don't come over. Sorry. We were wrong, we shouldn't have attacked the kingdom of Fiori. All of this is Captain Jack's intention, it has nothing to do with us or me. We're just following orders. Please let me go. The remaining remnants of the four pirate teams gathered in front of the port, which had become a super deep pit. Looking at the kingdom's soldiers with a face full of murderous intent and constantly approaching, he kept kowtowing and begging for mercy, crying with a heart-wrenching expression. Put down your weapon, crouch down with your head in both hands, now you can avoid death. Altolia stepped forward and shouted loudly at them. Considering the desperate counterattacks of the pirates, in order to avoid unnecessary casualties, Altolia chose to capture them. By imprisoning them in the kingdom, the life and death of these pirates will not be a matter of words. These pirates were already afraid of being killed, and as soon as they heard that they could survive, their eyes lit up. You look at me, I look at you, it seems to be determining the credibility of Altolia's words. Let go, let go, let go of your weapons, can you really, really, really save our lives? A pirate trembled and said. Upon hearing this, Altolia's emerald green eyes slightly froze, and her long sword swung lightly. Swordsmanship surged, and the stones flew, creating a huge gap that suddenly appeared in front of them. You have no choice but to lay down your weapons and surrender, or fight against us to the end. Xiang Xiang upon hearing this, the kingdom's soldiers behind Altolia immediately aimed their spears, swords, and firearms at these pirates. There is a strong sense of going to war if there is a disagreement. Gudong the pirates looked at the huge sword mark in front of them with fear. I'll drop a turtle. Is there still a way to survive if this is chopped on the body? Glancing at the murderous kingdom soldiers again, they finally couldn't withstand the pressure and threw their weapons aside. 
I surrender. I surrender. Don't kill me. With a leader in charge, the remaining pirates followed suit and all threw down their weapons, hugging their heads and squatting down. Captain Kate. On. Tie up all these pirates and take them to the kingdom's prison. Obey me. Kate respectfully bowed to Altolia and turned away. Although he knew that this seemingly fragile queen was very powerful, he never expected her to be so powerful. These extremely evil pirates who roamed the new world were easily solved. If it weren't for what he had seen with his own eyes, he would have found it hard to believe that such a weak body contained such immense power. The completely defeated pirates did not resist much and were all handcuffed and shackled by the soldiers. All of them are made of sea tower stones. Don't ask why. Rich, capricious. Don't worry about the captives, Altolia. Kate can handle it completely. At this moment, our dull-haired Wang was staring at Luo Xiao with an angry expression on his face. The golden hair on my head keeps swaying left and right, it's incredibly cute. The master was really powerful when he took action, causing a lot of damage to the entire port and requiring a large amount of money to repair it. Nah, don't worry about these details. Anyway, with Leah Sauce around, everything is fine. Leah. Sauce. Pup upon hearing Luo Xiao's affectionate address, Altolia's pretty face instantly turned red, and her head rubbed against the heat. The dull hair on my head is straight and straight, like a lightning rod. Although that's the case, master, at least you need to pay attention. Altolia shyly rubbed her blue skirt. This is the first time she has heard such a affectionate nickname, especially for a man with a high level of affection. Nah, don't be fooled, don't be angry anymore. With a lazy yet gentle smile, Luo Xiao looked at Altolia, who was feeling shy, and comforted her. Ah ah. Altolia's body softened and she fell into Luo Xiao's arms, with Dumao being the most daring part of her. P.S. New book seeking care, flowers, monthly tickets, review tickets, all kinds of requests. Thank you Omega. The most romantic thing in chapter 10 is to take it slowly with you. You are listening at novel full dot audio. M. Master, please don't do this. Altolia lay in Rosie's arms with a red face and spoke loudly. Ah ah ah, Leah Sauce, you're not good. Although the top says no, your body is very honest. You really like it. Upon hearing this, Altolia's face became even more shy, burying her head in Luo Xiao's arms and refusing to come out. Luo Xiao looked at my king lying in his arms like a gentle kitten, filled with infinite pride and satisfaction in his heart. The once beloved dumb hair king has also become our woman. Happy. When it comes to the Daimao king, it has to be said that Luo Xiao is bound to the salted fish king system. This kind of system that can reach its full level up is too much in line with the appetite of Luo Xiao's super big salted fish. Otherwise, with Luo Xiao's super salty fish personality, I want to win the heart of the resilient, noble and indifferent queen like my king. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's wait for the next life. Luo Xiao still has this self-awareness. You, go to the palace and get me another lounge chair. Luo Xiao pointed to a soldier in front of him and said to him. Obey me. Altolia in her arms blinked her large emerald eyes in confusion as she looked at Rosie and asked, Master, what are you asking someone to do with the lounge chair? Sunlight. Sunlight. At the dock. The dull hair on Altolia's head lightly jumped, appearing somewhat bewildered. Ah. Uh, are you sure it's not a brain problem? Altolia lifted her little head and looked at Rosie with concern, her fair little hand lightly rubbing against his forehead. Hmm. It's not hot either. I don't have a fever, but why is it like I'm burning my brain? My king pinched his delicate little chin with a very puzzled expression, muttering to himself. Luo Xiao next to him heard a black line. My king, are you really good like this? I'm still by your side, so great. Just keep such thoughts in your heart. 
speaking so bluntly, I don't want face. Cough cough, Luo Xiao coughed lightly to conceal his embarrassment. Immediately, he opened his arms and embraced the blue sky, looking intoxicated. Leah Sauce, don't you think the environment at the dock looks particularly beautiful? The fresh sea breeze accompanies the gentle chirping of the seagulls, and the waves seem to roll in my ears. Looking around, the sea and sky meet, and a lounge chair is placed here to enjoy the afternoon sunshine. Doesn't Leah think this is a very happy thing? Although the scene described by Luo Xiao is very beautiful. But. What about reality? Altolia glanced at the devastated port, all traces left by the war. Blood, corpses, and bumpy ground. Is the environment good? Am I blind? A fresh sea breeze. Ha! Is this strong smell of fresh blood fresh between you and me? Also. The entire harbor seawater has been blown away by you, what kind of waves are there? It seems that His Majesty the King is really sick, and he is also quite ill. Hurry up and call a doctor. Your Majesty the King is sick, Altolia urgently ordered to the soldiers beside her. Ale. Your Majesty the King is sick. Isn't that me? But why don't I know how to pinch it? Luo Xiao looked at Altolia with a worried and anxious expression, feeling confused in his heart. I just want to sunbathe at the dock, right? Why did you get sick? Hey hey. Leah Sauce, did you make a mistake? My body is twice as good, can you eat it? It's delicious, and there's nothing wrong with it. Luo Xiao also showed him his biceps as he spoke. You have also been told that the salted fish life has really made him stronger these days, which is totally different from the beginning of his journey. At least now I have eight abdominal muscles. The supreme salted fish body is hanging. Lying down and basking in the sun can make your body stronger, it's simply the best physique tailored specifically for salted fish. Master. Although your body is very strong, it does not mean that your spirit is also very strong. It may be because you used too much force during the previous battle with the pirates, which led to some low control of the nervous system and temporary hallucinations. Therefore, in order to avoid leaving sequelae, Master should seek treatment as soon as possible. Altolia looked at Rosie with a serious expression and said. Oh my, I'll go. I can tell now. After playing for a while, I turned out to be crazy. I'm so special. As for what? Don't you just want to sunbathe at the dock? Why was Altolia mistaking her for a snake spirit disease? I really want to break open her little brain and see what she thinks. I'm really not sick. People with weakened control over the nervous system generally do not claim to be sick. Altolia stared at Rosie, with a look that I didn't believe at all, which drove Rosie crazy. All right, all right. I won't share it anymore, can't I? In the end, under the questioning gaze of King Wu, Luo Xiao finally surrendered and was dragged back to the palace by King Wu. Surrounded by a group of doctors, the whole body was thoroughly examined. At this moment, Luo Xiao's heart was shattered. Is this world really swollen? I really just want to bask in the sun. These days, even sunbathing is considered snake spirit disease. Sigh. Being a salted fish is not easy either. On that day, Luo Xiao was holding the dumb Mao King and turning it salty together. That's right. Dai Mao Wang is becoming salty with Luo Xiao. The two of them were wearing sunglasses, holding hands and lying side by side on the lounge chairs, feeling the warmth of the sunshine. How did you say that? The most romantic thing I want is to slowly become salty with you. Uh, okay. This statement is pure nonsense. The truth is that Luo Xiao discovered another powerful function of the supreme salted fish body. That means the people who come into contact with him will also become salty with him during the process of sunbathing with him, um it will also become stronger. Although it's not as exaggerated as Luo Xiao's. 
If Luo Xiu's physique has become stronger by 100, then the number of people who come into contact with him and bask in the sun has become stronger by 10. Even so, Altolia benefited greatly and her body became stronger and stronger. From then on, Altolia would always bask in the sun with Rosie whenever she had time, and besides becoming stronger, she also enjoyed the days with Rosie very much. This carefree life makes her feel very sweet and happy. Make Altolia feel like she wants to make salted fish with Rosie. Someone who can make our King Altolia want to make salted fish. It can only be said that Luo Xiu's salted fish attribute is really not average strength. Indeed, those who are close to red will be red, and those who are close to ink will be black.